hello and welcome to my youtube channel cambiz in this video we are going to discuss ozonolysis of alkenes we will go through the following points general introduction mechanism examples and at the end examples of few abnormal ozonolysis in ozonolysis of an alkene, the alkene is allowed to react with ozone generally in non-interactive solvent like dichloromethane at minus 78 degrees centigrade to produce ozonide which depending upon the nature of next reagent used produces different products. Reaction of ozonide with dimethyl sulfide or triphenylphosphine or zinc acetic acid keeps aldehyde and ketone. With aqueous hydrogen peroxide gives carboxylic acid and ketone and with sodium borohydride gives alcohols to draw the product formed by the reaction of ozonide with dimethyl sulfide or triphenylphosphine or zinc acetic acid break the molecule into two parts from the middle of cc double bond and connect the double bond of each fragment with oxygen to draw the product formed by the reaction of ozonide with aqueous hydrogen peroxide, break the molecule into two parts from the middle of CC double bond and connect the double bond of each fragment with oxygen and replace the, hydro replace the hydrogen of alkene with OH. To draw the product formed by the reaction of ozonide with sodium borohydride, break the molecule into two parts from the middle of CC double bond, change the double bond into single bond and connect each single bond with OH. Mechanism In this segment, we will first discuss the mechanism of ozonide formation. For the sake of better understanding, we are taking symmetrically substituted alkene. Ozone is a 1,3 dipolar compound. So, alkene and ozone undergo 3 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction to produce the primary ozonide, also called Molozonide 1 2 3 trioxolane or Kriegi intermediate. It is unstable and undergoes decomposition like this to produce carbonyl compound and carbonyl oxide. Here we can see that the carbonyl carbon of carbonyl compound has partial positive charge and oxygen partial negative charge. Carbonyl oxide has negative charge on oxygen. So, they cannot recombine in this orientation. Let's rotate the carbonyl compound through 180 degrees in the plane to get this orientation. Now they recombine via 3 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction like this to produce secondary ozonide also called 1, 2, 4 trioxolane. Now let's have the case in which the alkene is unsymmetrically substituted. In the similar way, it will react with ozone to produce 
primary ozonide which can decompose by two ways decomposition like this will give carbonyl compound a and carbonyl oxide b while decomposition like this will give carbonyl compound c and carbonyl oxide d there are four possibilities for their recombination a b c d a d and b c a d and b c will give the same product so there will be three secondary ozonides which can be drawn like this mechanism for the decomposition of ozonide here we are going to discuss mechanism for the decomposition of secondary ozonide with dimethyl sulfide sulfur of dimethyl sulfide donates electron pair to the peroxy oxygen which is accompanied by breaking up peroxy bond formation of carbon oxygen double bond breaking of carbon oxygen single bond formation of carbon oxygen single bond and breaking of carbon oxygen single bond this leads to the formation of dimethyl sulfoxide and two carbonyl compounds now let's go through examples ozonolysis of 3 methyl pent2en to find the products cut the molecule from the middle of the double bond to get these two fragments and then put the oxygen at the terminus of double bond thus the two products will be 2 butanone and acetaldehyde ozonolysis of cyclohexene here also cut the molecule through the double bond to get this open chain structure and then put the oxygen at the terminus to get the product which is hexane diol another example in this example there are two alkenes so cut the molecule through the double bonds to get these three fragments and then put oxygen at the terminus of double bonds to get the products which are acetone 4 oxopentanyl and acetaldehyde let's have an interesting example in which there are two different alkenes and the molecule is treated with one equivalent of ozone in 10 is to 1 methanol dimethyl sulfide after that the product formed is treated with sodium borohydride in ethanol in such situation more electron rich alkene reacts selectively so in the given reaction alkene with methoxy will react so to draw the product of first step cut the double bond to get this skeleton and then put two oxygen atoms on the terminus of the double bond thus it will be methyl z 4 methyl 6 oxo hex 3 enoate in the second step of in the second step where there is reduction with NaBH4 the product will be methyl Z 6 hydroxy 4 methyl hex 3 enoate let's have one more example of similar type here also there are two different alkenes in this case also the alkene with trimethyl siloxy group will be more reactive so after ozonolysis 
and reduction it will give hydroxy acid which in the presence of acid will convert to corresponding lactone one more example and reduce selectivity the substrate has an alpha beta unsaturated alkene and an alkene in the side chain the alkene in side chain is more reactive so the reaction will selectively go on side chain alkene to produce these two aldehydes ozonolysis of cyclohexene in methanol under different conditions ozonolysis of cyclohexene in methanol using h2o2 for oxidative workup gives cyclohexane dioic acid if you recall mechanism we discussed in the beginning cyclohexene after reaction with o3 will give primary ozonide which will give this intermediate having aldehyde on one end and aldehyde oxide on the other end if the reaction is in methanol in the presence of toluene sulfonic acid there will be addition of methanol at this point protonation here and conversion of aldehyde to dimethyl acetal to produce one hydroperoxy 166 trimethoxyhexane which after treatment with acetic anhydride in the presence of triethylamine gives methyl 66 dimethoxy hexanoid while the same intermediate when treated with sodium bicarbonate and dimethyl sulfide gives 66 dimethoxy hexanol if the reaction is carried out in the presence of sodium bicarbonate in methanol the dipolar intermediate gives 6 hydroperoxy 6 methoxy hexanol which after reaction with acetic anhydride in the presence of triethylamine gives methyl 6 oxo hexanoid now we will discuss ozonolysis of allyl alcohol ozonolysis of allyl alcohol gives unusual product for example this allylic alcohol which undergoes ozonolysis in ethyl acetate gives this ketoester as unusual product mechanism involves reaction of double bond with ozone to produce primary ozonide which breaks up and rejoin to produce secondary ozonide this secondary ozonide decomposes like this eliminating acetone molecule to produce this unusual product ozonization of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds ozonization of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds gave abnormal products when an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound is treated with ozone in ethyl acetate acetic acid and water at minus 15 degree centigrade there is the formation of secondary ozonide because of two oxygen atoms attached to alpha carbon the electrophilicity of carbon is greatly increased because of that the carbonyl group gets easily hydrated and thus leads to the formation of this hydrated crystalline secondary ozonide which upon heating decomposes like this to produce a carboxylic acid formic acid and an aldehyde or ketone let's have a real example in which 
this cyclic alpha beta unsaturated ketone when allowed to react with ozone in a solution of ethyl acetate acetic acid and water at minus 15 degree centigrade produces secondary ozonide which after hydration keeps hydrated ozonide as a crystalline solid upon melting the hydrated ozonide decomposes like this to produce this keto acid and formic acid that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video